Mortal Kombat, a necessity for gracious living. Ah yes, Mortal Kombat, the 1992 arcade game that would quickly become a household name due to its graphic violence, featuring realistic digitised characters, deep combat mechanics and most infamously of all, over the top fatalities. In fact, the game and its sequel generated so much controversy that in 1993 the United States Senate had a hearing on video game violence and how to regulate this so-called emerging threat. By July 1994, this would create the Entertainment Software Ratings Board, or ESRB, to provide video game ratings in North America. But as is regular on this channel, today we aren't going to be looking at games that were in sale in such a region, but instead their shady, unlicensed, unregulated counterparts that are available through the world's grey market. So, with all that said, I am Lady Decade, and these are the illegal Mortal Kombat games for the NES. Bootleg Famicom games, also known as counterfeit or pirated Famicom games, were typically produced by unlicensed third-party companies, often with low-quality materials and subpar game content. These were relatively common in certain regions, particularly in the 1990s, especially when many offered support for clones of Nintendo's 8-bit home system in an era where official support for the hardware had dried up. Like most popular properties from the period, Mortal Kombat was not safe from these people. In fact, there was such a crazy amount of different bootleg Mortal Kombat games produced for the NES that it actually gave me a bit of a headache attempting to make sense of them all. So while I cannot guarantee we will cover all of them today, I will try my best to cover the history of these as best as I can. So get over here and let's begin. Toasty! In the summer of 1994, a Mortal Kombat game for Famiclone hardware would be produced. This first effort was by a development house we've already covered here before, Hummer Team. The Taiwanese bootleggers with a track record of delivering decent, unlicensed games featuring popular IPs. The title screen on this one claims the game to be Mortal Kombat 2, but upon playing it, you will notice this is a bootleg of the first game. As is usual with games of this kind, this was likely a cheeky cash grab to trick consumers into believing it was based on a newer entry in the series. As for what this one does contain, it is a reasonably faithful recreation of the original game. The game features a playable roster of Raiden, Sonya, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Kano, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, Goro and Shang Tsung. 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 I can't believe you've done this. Which is more than the arcade game had considering that Tsung and Goro were instead boss characters. Sadly, Reptile though is missing in action altogether. The game has its fair share of quirks though. Although it contains many of the original arenas, the order in which they appear is different, with details missing here and there too. Goro also has a small character sprite, making him the same size as other fighters, and special moves work differently, with many missing in action altogether. Also, sadly, Sub-Zero's iconic ice balls act like fireballs, and Scorpion throws fireballs rather than spears. Most disappointingly though, the game doesn't contain blood or fatalities. Which I guess makes it feel a little bit more legitimately Nintendo. Confusingly, this would not be the only Mortal Kombat 2 for the system that was not really Mortal Kombat 2. Kony, under their Yoko Soft branding, would also release a fighting game carrying this name. In my opinion, this Mortal Kombat 2 looks less Mortal Kombat-like than its Hummer Team produced competitor, but in its own... <laughs> disgusting way. I guess it has its charm through looking so graphically different from the source material. In fact, it seems more like a Street Fighter 2 Pro than it does Mortal Kombat, which makes sense since Kony used the same engine to make that game too. To be complimentary though, I will comment that I do like the background and that some of the arcade game's tracks have been reproduced for this Famiclone affair. 
Like Hummer Team's effort though, no blood or fatalities can be found here. As stated earlier, I doubt I can mention all of the bootleg NES Mortal Kombat games in this video, but it would receive at least two revisions linked to this one. Gamers would get Mortal Kombat Pro 5 that added Shang Tsung to the game, who can transform into different characters in the game, and Mortal Kombat 5 Turbo 30, so that every character in the game has an additional two palette swaps to play as. To be fair, things don't get more Mortal Kombat than that. Change the colours, boom, different characters. Kony would not be the only company around making new versions of their Mortal Kombat bootleg, as Hummer Team would do the same thing after just one year. Mortal Kombat 2 Special would increase the previous version's roster number, moving it up to 14. Amazingly, the roster and stages in this one truly reflect Mortal Kombat 2, and special moves would be altered so they now function as they were supposed to. According to bootleggames.fandom, other versions of this great unlicensed title title were produced, such as Mortal Kombat 3 Special and Mortal Kombat 3 Special 56 Peoples. Yeah, <laughs> we are back to the Peoples naming convention with titles full of even more palette swaps. Incredibly. You will notice that by 56 Peoples, Hummer Team somewhere down the line in their bootlegging endeavours had even managed to include blood in the title, making the game look and feel more Mortal Kombat-like than ever. Amongst everything else, Hummer Team would continue to be up to their old tricks, releasing a bootleg NES version of Mortal Kombat 3 in 1996, sometimes dubiously carrying the name Mortal Kombat 4. The base version of this game contained seven different characters, with others existing as palette swaps. Still, it is fantastic to see so much of Mortal Kombat 3 recreated for the NES like other Mortal Kombat Famiclone games, this one having multiple different iterations available where changes were made. These would include Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which included a dubious roster of 48 fighters, Mortal Kombat 4 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 4, but who could forget the one simply named True Mortal Kombat 3, a game that would feature a misprint on the cartridge label referring to it as True MK3. Fantastic use of English. Anyway, let's move on to the futuristic year of 1998 to visit the release of Konisoft's next Mortal Kombat effort. Published under their ridiculous Ho Second of USA alias, this might be the craziest Mortal Kombat bootleg we have covered yet. In Mortal Kombat 5 and its reiteration of Mortal Kombat Trilogy 5, gamers start this horrifying experience on this ugly yellow and blue title screen, but they will soon discover it is a weird recreation of Mortal Kombat 3. I think graphically, this is one of the ugliest of the lot, featuring worse colours than any previous Mortal Kombat bootlegs. Interestingly, it is possible to perform fatalities in this one, but uh, only on the first round. Oh yeah, and there is only one of these in the game. By far though, the best thing this ugly abomination brings to the table is the game's blood. This is because the artwork is so bad that when you hit them, it looks like sausages fly out of them. Which is amazing, I guess. Oh, what? Oh, it's dripping. Looking back at these, the question is, did we really need this many Mortal Kombat boots legs on just one system? I guess the fact that so many exist shows how popular Mortal Kombat must have been in the 90s, as the bootleggers wouldn't have kept printing new Mortal Kombat games if there wasn't a market for them. So, wherever you are experiencing the refinedness of Hummer Team's most perfected effort, or witnessing the sausagey goodness of what became of Kony's efforts, Maybe there is a Mortal Kombat bootleg out there for everyone. In all honesty, there likely isn't though. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and check out my video on King of Fighters NES bootlegs now.